What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Leroy McKenzie Jr., coming to you for the Authors Showcase, brought to you by the National Black Unity News and JNF Enterprises. And we are bringing you some innovative, creative, motivating, um, mission-driven, um, message-bringing authors that we have. In case you haven't uh, seen the first issue, first two issues that we have of the National Black Unity newspaper, we have a section um, that we highlight, showcase authors that are doing some phenomenal things out here uh, in and around the country. They are some phenomenal writers, um, but have some stories, they have some messages, they have some strategies and all kinds of, of things that are just, that we wanted to be able to bring to you. And today we have one of those authors that we're showcasing and she's gonna be with us in just a second. Um, but we wanted to make sure that if you haven't, you can go to the, uh, the website, which is www.t tnbun.com uh, to check out the newspaper, subscribe to the newspaper. You can also check out our um, YouTube channel, which has all of our other authors that we have interviewed that, um, that you'll be able to check out as well. And you can go to youtube.com and then you can put in the National Black Unity News, which you can go to. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all those good things on on the uh, on the uh, on the YouTube channel, so that you can be filled uh, with some some knowledge, information, and resources that will take you, uh, your business, your your literary um, acumen to that next level. But today we have with us this lovely young lady, Miss Connie, <laughs> I'm gonna call her Miss Connie, <laughs> Miss <laughs> Connie uh, Amos Parsons, but she is an author, entrepreneur, just an extraordinary, um, beautiful, bright woman, and y'all gonna see what I'm talking about in just a minute, uh, as, as we talk with her just about, not just about her book that she has, but just about her um, her experiences that she has, being an entrepreneur, being someone who has uh, blazed the trail for so many people uh, out here. How are you, Miss Connie? I'm good. I am well, thank God. How are you this morning? I'm doing outstanding, doing outstanding. Good, great. It's your boy, <laughs> Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, so I hope everything is going well with you. And let's start, let's start off our conversation because that's what I call this. These are just conversations that I have uh, with, with, with some with good friends <laughs> that <Yes>. I have. <laughs> just yes, talk, that's talking, have. Around, you know, talking about um, the, the books and the messages that, they, that they're bringing out in this author showcase. So I want you to start off just by telling a little bit, um, telling the people just a little bit about who you are, um, your background, a little bit about that, and then we'll get into the conversation about um, about the about the okay. about your message in the book. Okay, I start off with um, I am a mom and a G mom of three grandsons. Um, I was born and raised in Lynchburg, Virginia, and I migrated to DMV. I started working in the federal government and retired early. And um, I'm a graduate of uh, University of Maryland and um, have a uh, uh, leadership development for manager certificate from Johns Hopkins University. Oh. And um, yes, and uh, now I'm um, doing this um, stay at home. I decided I want to go pursue my MBA. Ooh. So I started my first course last week and oh, I'm wow. enjoying it. Uh -huh. Well, I have to keep up with you millennials now. <laughs> <laughs> I no, mean, no. I went to school a long time ago, and things have changed for the 21st century, so mm -hmm. I wanted to keep up in business with the millennials and what's going on, and uh, it's been very enlightening and rewarding for me, oh, cool. and um, I'm all, uh, have a, my own business at your service events planner, LLC. I've had it uh, 13 years. I celebrated my 13th anniversary in March. Mm -hmm. I'm an author and a professional speaker. 
and um, I am now a wedding officiant, events and wedding planner, and um, I just enjoy life and just walking in my purpose. So oh, that's, that's that what I awesome. do. That's what I am. Now, what, what are you getting your MBA in? If, if I can ask. Um, I'm, I'm actually in my in business. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yes, but exactly that. Uh, I have an undergrad in business uh, management from the University of Maryland, and then a leadership development program. And then I just had the desire about three weeks ago. I said, I've got a lot of time on my hands. I saw the program, and mm -hmm. I said, I can do this one. Um, course at a time oh, and cool. uh, yeah taking it easy and take in that way I know I will do my best and um, but yeah I'm enjoying it so far but strictly business because I, I love I'm an entrepreneur and I got that from my mom it's in my blood and I want to be the best that I can be in my field oh that's awesome that's that is awesome to hear awesome to hear I, I like that I like that yes I got uh, it in my blood <laughs> one of the things that I always say about um I call it um the boss life um and, and what that is is it's a concept of being a boss is about being I'm sorry a leader being uh, being a leader and leader stand yes. has an acronym for um for learning assisting I mean I'm sorry learning and uh, empowering, assisting, developing, executing, and results. But oh, that first, sounds great. Yeah, but the, the first aspect of being a leader is always learning. We as leaders exactly. are always, we are always learning. We're always looking to gain as much information, as much information as we can to be able to pursue and be better, not just for ourselves, but also those that we will pour into from the information that we that we get. Absolutely. That's what I like about you. One of the things I like about you, you're always on your grind. You're always present. You always persevere. You uh, uh, you have your social, I just said, your social print <laughs> and, and your hands in everything that's productive and uplifting. And um, and I'm just um, uh, sad, happy to be able to be interviewed by you today. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what got you? What got you interested in in writing? What 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 prompted you to to want to start writing? Well, you know, when you're in your childhood and you have some extra time, you, you're at your most creative. Uh -huh. And I mm -hmm. used to write poems, just okay. little silly little poems when I was a kid. And, 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 you know, and I was, I happened to, you know, like English and I had great English teachers mm -hmm. and I just, uh, just, I, I just kind of had an affinity for it. And um, I I'd always say, I should write a book. I should write a book. Well, I said that so many times. And then uh, in 2017, I had a tragedy. One, my best girlfriend, it was in elementary school, all the way through high school, she passed. Mm. And I reflected on her life and mm. our life together. And, uh, and I just, that just, God just touched my heart. And that was the time that I started writing my first book, okay. uh, which is Peaks, Valleys, and Overcoming the Odds, Stepping Out on Faith and Confidence. Mm -hmm. And I, that, that took me only 19 days to write it. It's a short oh, wow. book, mm -hmm. but I knew exactly what I wanted to write. And it turned into my autobiography. And mm -hmm. I was able to tell my story about my life, the good and, and positive and the tragedy that happened in chapter six. And then I went on from there and I overcame the obstacles and my life was spared and um, in the book, um, I talk about so many things, but God has saved my life over six times from different things. Like when I was 10, I had pneumonia uh, and I had, um, I was bit, bitten by a poisonous snake oh, in the wow. back. Of yes. When I was 10 years old, these <laughs> things happened to me, not because I'm a bad person. <laughs> I was a 10 year old child. But, you know, God had his hands over me since, you know, all my life. And I, my mom, at 10, I was out of school for six weeks, but I did well. And, um, and then other things happened to me, almost drowned, things like that. So in the book, I, don't hi I highlight that and I write about it. Mm -hmm. But the book actually was about what happened to me when I was married. And it was about spouse abuse. So that's only in one chapter. 
And then I fled with my life um, with my two children who are now grown and doing well and, and, and got great careers and both of them are homeowners and uh, married. And, and, and it just shows you that you can overcome anything, mm -hmm. any obstacle. All you have to do, and I'm a faith-based person. I'm a Christian. I'm a spiritual person. So I give it to God and I pray. And then I get, not just leave it with him, but I make plans to what I'm going to do and goals of how and strategy, how I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So um, it, I overcame and I said, you know, um, I haven't told this story all my life. And now is the time for me to tell the story because that is what she succumbed to after years of being in that relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, it's a serious topic. And, but I thought I just put it, the, all the positive uplifting things in my book and just dedicate that one chapter to what happened to me and then how I overcame. And so I was determined I was going to be successful no matter what happened to me. I wasn't going to let that get me down. I wasn't going to let that stop me. And, you know, we have to have a positive attitude. Uh, I'm not never going to give up. Uh, we have to have a confidence that we can make it. We can't let things in our life get us down and keep us down. And yeah. so that's why I wrote my first book. And then my second book was um, a, it was a workbook and a journal. Okay. And it was, uh, oh, you need to ask the question then, right? Well, yeah. Well, I was going to ask you how you've written a total of, you, so you've written a total of two books. Yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have. Uh -huh. now, you, now, go ahead and you can go into why you want, why you wrote the second book, because that, that is what I was going to say. Go ahead. Yes. The second book was like a self-help journal. Uh, I said, how did I change my life today? Because each day we do something different to change our life. Mm -hmm. Whether it's just the age, it's more than just the aging process, but we can make incremental small steps each day to change our life towards what we want our future and our goals to be. Mm -hmm. And then, so it's the, how did I change my life today? Eight steps to success. And in that book, I took all of the posts that I had written to encourage and uplift everyone else mm -hmm. over a six month period. I copied them and pasted them and that's my book. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this, I, I, I gave out so much advice, including the 20 steps to um, uh, tips for business tips mm -hmm. and wedding and events planning tips. Okay. You know, all of that information, I was answering questions from different, you know, Facebook groups. And, and, and then I just decided I'm going to write this and put this in my book, how to focus, how to make a transformation, whether it's in your personal life or transformation in your career goals, because we go sometimes, we, uh, you know, we want to change careers or we want to add an additional career or at this time in our life for job losses or we may not right. have businesses are not going to be the same this is the time to think ahead about what your goals are what first of all what is your passion and then what do you want to do and how can I do it your strategy and so I wrote this book how can I change my life today eight tips to success to just show people what you can do and how to think this process through in any facet of your life. And I sold out of, of the book uh, March the 14th at the Phenomenal Women Conference. And so um, this is a self-published. So uh, if someone wants this book, I would have to do pre-orders and then get copies made for you. Yeah, but I, yeah. Now, now what, do you want the, what do you want the reader to come away with? after reading um re after reading reading your book or even books even after the, the that's more specifically the second book how how mm -hmm. does how do you, what is it how to how did i change my life we want them to come away from that book learning or no you uh, as you said learning is essential you you always can learn something every day by reading by from someone else by blogs, by looking at Facebook posts, by listening to your friends and family, and even taking classes. You can always learn something every day. Um, and to 
absorb as much information as you can because you never know when you're going to need it or need it another job or another path. And uh, to be passionate about what you do, if you're not passionate about your work, then it becomes a job. Mm -hmm. When we as entrepreneurs, and I'm including you, Leroy, when Absolutely. we as entrepreneurs, I said, we work hard, so many hours, we don't even count the hours. <laughs> but when we go home at night and close our eyes, we are asleep because we have, we have joy in what we do. Mm -hmm. We're not exhausted. We have joy in what we do. It's, it's, it's I learned in, grads, um, in uh, undergrad, it's the intrinsic rewards from what you do, meaning internal rewards. You are happy. You don't have to always be rewarded with money, but you are happy that you contributed something or you made your life better or you made someone else's life better. I so that, we, uh, go ahead, say, I'm sorry. I was going to say, I call that good time. <laughs> as good, you say that's, good? That, that's that good tie. <laughs> you yes, tie exactly. with <laughs> good ties. Exactly. Exactly. You mm -hmm. you we're in this world now. It's all about us together. Yeah. And 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 I'm hoping and praying that this will change us and change the way that we live. And I know it's not going to be everybody, but I'm hoping that there's a new perspective by this, that we've had time to slow our life down and focus on what's the most important. So, and this was the time that I decided to go back and start, you know, get my, apply from uh, my MBA and I was selected and I'm in the program already. Mm -hmm. But what the book it is telling you to never give up, never think that you're too old to learn, never think that you can't make it, never allow anyone to put you down or to say you can't do it or you don't have confidence in doing it or that costs too much. Well, yes, it costs a lot to go back to, uh, to get my MBA, but guess what? The knowledge and the connections that I have, is a, it's, you, you, you can't put a price on it. Absolutely. And, 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 and I'm learning so much and I'm opening my eyes to so much and thinking critically and, and it's my money. If I, I've got a loan, I'm going to pay it back. So, <laughs> so it's still my money, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And, and I just want people to know that um, everyone, men and women, because I love my brothers as well and, and women as well, um, we can be better and we can do better. And if you got all the money in the world, but you still can give to others and support others and mentor others, we have a lack of mentors for mm -hmm. our youth. We have a lack of mentors for our college students. We have we have we can have so many talents that we have, and we can give back. It doesn't always have to be money. Now, if you have money to give, that's fine. Right. But if you have, you can teach somebody business. You can teach them uh, an entrepreneur. You can teach them how to write. You can teach them how to brand. You can teach them how to write a book. You can give back to people. And, and that will help, but um, never give up. I had somebody tell me one time, and you know, we remember the negative thoughts that people tell us. And I had someone tell me one time in the federal government, oh, you'll never get your 13. And I was like, okay, okay, mm -hmm. I, I will, I will. Mm -hmm. And I got to 14. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, I, that made, hey, she, she didn't know. That, that made me motivate me more because mm -hmm. <laughs> you can tell me I can't do something and inside that fuels me to to try harder to do it absolutely and, yeah, and, now, you know, is really go key, ahead. and I want you to go into it what, what is your what is your definition of success because people want to mm -hmm. try and define you know what success is but what is what is your definite uh, definition of success Okay, my definition of success is that you have found your purpose, that you know who you are, that you know why God put you on this earth, your purpose, that you are being the best that you can be with your family, with your, 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 your significant other or your spouse, that you're doing the best that you can in your career, in your job, and that you're giving of yourself, that you're doing the best you can financially, and 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 you know, that's to me is successful. 
you got a good family life, you're working hard, you're doing the best that you can at what you do, you're learning, you're educating yourself, you're making as much money as you can, and you're giving it your all. That is your purpose, and you get a joy out of that. And that's success to me. Success to me doesn't necessarily always mean you have this big shiny car and you have a big bank account. Mm -hmm. But because if you're neglecting your family, mm -hmm. or you, then what good is that? I'd rather, have, I'd rather be successful in most areas or all areas of my life because I'm trying hard to be the best that I can than to have all the money in the bank and drive a big car but come home to an empty home. Absolutely. So now that it means to me. Now that you've defined success, mm -hmm. what what are what do you believe? And, and we don't want to give we are not gonna give everybody all the keys that you talk about in your book. Let's give them what are your give your three give three keys to sustainable success. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three keys for me would be confidence, self confidence. Mm -hmm. Um to propel you further, right? You gotta keep going. Nobody's gonna pump you up every day. So self-confidence, perseverance. So you call it, and I call it grit, but <laughs> perseverance and um, a positive attitude. Because that positive attitude will open doors for you because people are looking at you and watching at you and seeing if they want you for a partner or a mm -hmm. colleague or or, 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 you know, or hire you for that mm -hmm. job or put you in that leadership position or even work with you, your clients. But if you have a negative attitude, then put it that nobody wants to grump around them. <laughs> so, so, you yeah. know, you want people when the going gets tough, the tough get going. So my three things for success would be the self-confidence and, and you have to build it if you don't have it self-confidence, perseverance, staying on your grind every day, and positive attitude. And like that'll take that. you a long ways. I like that. I like that. Yes. I like that. Now, now, what advice would you give to an aspiring writer? Because you've written two books. Um, what advice would you, would, you, would you give to them? Aspiring writer. Okay. Um, first of all, if you have a dream or in your heart that you want to write and you have a topic that you want to write about, then, because I didn't know at first until it hit me, then you sit down and what I did is to start making bullet points or, mm -hmm. of, of, you know, um, of, of what I wanted to write about, how I was going to start it. And then I turned those um, bullet points into chapters and start naming my chapters. Then I had a basis for writing. And so chapter one was my, my grandparents, my heritage, my parents, and then my childhood, then high school, and then my career and marriage. But that's what you do. You sit down, you think about, I wanna write about uh, any type of topic, cooking or uh, my experiences on my job or what made me successful, like so many millionaires and billionaires do. What made me successful that I can tell others that this is how I came up, you know? And, and Jack Welch was one of those very successful CEOs of GE. And I, he was my thought leader on LinkedIn and I followed him and he passed last month. And, and then I saw the program and that drew me to that three weeks ago. Little did I know that I was gonna get my, go for my MBA. Mm -hmm. But those things that touch you, that makes you passionate, that gives you a drive, that's what you write about. And then look at it and then um, have, get it, make sure that it's when you finish it, have your manuscript edited. Because we think we know grammar and punctuation, but an editor <laughs> like yourself, they know it. That's your job. <laughs> and you want your book to look well and read well. And then I got my first book. I did have a publisher. 
and we no longer work together. But I have a new publisher, <laughs> JNF, you. <laughs> you my new publisher, Leroy, and I refer you to them. But uh, for my, you know, people who want you. But that was what I, what I would say. Whatever is burning in your heart and in your mind that you want to write about, the topic that you're most passionate about. And then you sit down and just start it. Just little, little steps at a time, baby steps. Just write your bullet points down. Absolutely. And then that, that turns into ideas. And then when you have an idea, let me finish this too, because this is a, a, my strategy. When you have an idea, sometimes it comes to you in the night, a wee hours in the morning. You want a book. You get up and write it down on your, your iPhone. And my, I did it on my notes. And my whole book was on my notes. Oh, wow. And okay. then all I had to do is copy and paste it to Word mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then turn it in. But you, those ideas might not come at 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. It might come in the middle of the night. Yeah, and if that's burning in your mind, you write it down. You can still go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, then, then, words and, then, then words and ideas don't have a, don't have a set schedule. So. No, they do not. No, they do not. <laughs> So you what, know it for yourself. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yes. So what's what's next for you, Miss Connie? What's, what's next? Well, what's next? let's what you see. On? What you got going on? Other than the MBA, you know, I mean, <laughs> that, that you worked it on. <laughs> well, that's you know, that's what I'm doing now. But that's mm -hmm. and that's I'm glad I'm doing it because it's really filling in my day. Okay. Uh, because as you know, the wedding and events planning and the right. travel business is tough suffering a lot right uh but i'm just i'm what's next for me is i'm still um advertising and marketing and i'm still keeping in contact with my clients and and and, and my potential clients mm -hmm. and i'm still on social media and updating my pages every day um i'm still reading blogs and articles Article business and about wedding and events planning and keeping up with the trends. Mm -hmm. So what's next for me when I get my MBA? I am going to open up, uh, uh, have my own consulting business. Mm -hmm. And that will be two to three years okay. out. So I'm going to sell my wedding and events planning business. Okay. And if I'm not able to buy, find a buyer, I'm going to I've asked my assistants if they want to take over well, my business mm -hmm. when I graduate because I realize I can't do everything. Absolutely. Exactly. And then I'm going, I want to be a, a, a consultant for business owners, mm -hmm. for corporations, and small and medium-sized business owners to help them grow and scale their business. Oh, that's awesome. That yeah, with awesome. my MBAs. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All that knowledge that I'm paying for, I want to throw it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell people how they can actually um, reach, reach you to be able to purchase the books or to, um, to be able to have you to come speak or like for the other aspects and products and services that you, that you offer with your business. Oh, thank you so much. Well, my uh, first book, uh, Peaks, Valleys, and Overcoming Odds, uh, Stepping Out on Faith and um, Confidence, it can be found on Amazon and also on Kindle. It's now Kindle. So okay. Peaks, Valleys, and Overcoming the Odds, Stepping Out on Faith and Con uh, Confidence by Connie Bliss Parsons on mm -hmm. Amazon and Kindle. And then this book, How Did I Change My Life Today? Eight Steps to Success. I did uh, sell out of it, but I can make cop uh, can get uh, copies for, uh, for you, and that would have to be pre-ordered. So you can contact me at a y s events with an s planner at gmail dot com. Uh, you can reach me on uh, my Facebook page at at your service events planner LLC, and I am also on Instagram at planners rock. And um, I have a website is uh, www.aysevents with an s planner.com. That is awesome. That is thank so you. Awesome. Thank you so much for this opportunity. No, I thank you for, for joining us and for giving us the knowledge, the information, and, and resources that you bring uh, to everyone. And I know that when people, um, purchase the book, when they read the books, they will be, they, I, and I say it like this, they will be better after 
they yes. read your books than they were it's, before they read your books. And that's, that's my goal, um, being the impact chaser, is to bring people, make people better. Uh, yes. And by doing things like this, by showcasing authors like you, by showcasing the other authors that are a part of this, um, makes people better. And I love yes. that. I love that. So I enjoyed the conversation. Thank People. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. One thing I was going to say is that I have, uh, when I was speaking, speaking, I, I, I love to speak about women's empowerment, but also leadership for women. Mm -hmm. And I was doing this before, I, you know, I started my MBA, but leadership for women, because we might be entrepreneurs, but you might be missing some business courses that you might need, or just a, a business tips that you might need. So business, uh, uh, speak, speaking on business tips or uh, business, small business topics, leadership for women and empowerment. And what I'm trying to do is to, my purpose is to empower women and men if they, if, uh, to be the best that we can be. So whatever Absolutely. contributions I can make to that, that is what I'm doing. Absolutely, and you are certainly doing that. And people, those that uh, want to get more info, want to uh, get more information, you can go to Ms. Connie's website, but you can also check out other authors as uh, phenomenal authors such as, as her. You can go to the National Black Unity News uh, website at www.tnbun.com. Uh, to subscribe, to get, get the newspaper uh, and read uh, about all of the other articles that are in the newspaper. It's an excellent newspaper for knowledge, information, and resources. But then you can also go to the uh, YouTube channel and you can actually check out her, <laughs> her interview <laughs> here, as well as the other authors that we're showcasing on the YouTube channel. And be sure to subscribe, like, and share the, that information because that's what it's all about. It's about bringing yes. to the platform these authors or showcasing these authors, entrepreneurs, thinkers, progressive thinkers. I call them 21st century way thinkers that are that are going to be able to make your life uh, better. So, Ms. Connie, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you so <laughs> much. Have a wonderful this. day. And you too. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. We'll uh -huh. to thank soon. You. As, we, as we end this, I always talk about this. 2020, it's about being fasting, about fast and furious, moving and with purpose and passion. And I always say this, chase the impact, because when you chase the impact, you change the world. And these yes. are people that are changing the world. They are impact chasers because they're, and they're changing the world. So we'll talk to y'all soon. Okay, thank you.